astronomical events not to be missed in June 2020. We're not even halfway through the year and there's plenty more in store for all skywatchers. June is especially unique as it holds a Solaris eclipse, as well as a lunar eclipse, that is about to amaze all skywatchers. Astronomers across the world are in for a treat, as both the lunar and the solar eclipses will be recorded in the month of June. Naturally, this will be a unique chance for scientists and astronomers to study both the astronomical events like never before. June will bring gorgeous stargazing events. Here's when and how to see them. This is Justin and you are watching Infinity Stellar. Before we begin we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. The first one is Mercury at Greatest Eastern Elongation. When Mercury reaches its greatest elongation at 1620 UTC on June 4, it's located 23.6 degrees east of the Sun, and it is shining at a magnitude of 0.4. Mercury's orbit is closer to the Sun than that of the Earth which means that it always appears close to the sun and is faded because of the sun's brightness most of the time. You can only observe it for a few days each time it reaches its greatest separation from the sun, greatest elongation. This phenomenon repeats itself approximately once every three to four months and occurs alternately during the morning or afternoon, depending on whether Mercury is to the east or west of the sun. This is the best time to view Mercury since it will be at its highest point above the horizon in the evening sky. Look for the planet low in the western sky just after sunset. Second. Strawberry full moon. The moon will be located on the opposite side of the Earth, as the sun and its face will be fully illuminated. This phase occurs at 1912 UTC on June 5. This full moon was known by early Native American tribes as the strawberry moon, because it signaled the time of year to gather ripening fruit. It also coincides with the peak of the strawberry harvesting season. This moon has also been known as the rose moon and the honey moon. Full moon days are perfect for photographing it with an interesting subject. Third. Penumbral lunar eclipse. In certain areas of the Earth, the moon passes through the Earth's penumbra, creating a penumbral lunar eclipse from 1746 to 2105 UTC. The maximum lunar eclipse occurs at 1924 UTC. A penumbral lunar eclipse occurs when the moon passes through the Earth's partial shadow, or penumbra. During this type of eclipse, the moon will darken slightly but not completely. It happens on June 5th or 6th depending on your longitude, e.g. in India, China, and Australia it happens on the 6th. The penumbral lunar eclipse is visible throughout Eastern Europe, Eastern Africa, the Middle East, the Indian Ocean, Southeast Asia, and most of Australia. Fourth. The conjunction of the moon and Jupiter on June 8th. Jupiter passes at 21 degrees north of the moon at 1722 UTC. The Moon is at a magnitude of minus 12.5, and Jupiter at a magnitude of minus 2.6. At this time the, the Moon phase is 89.7%. The conjunction of the Moon and Saturn on June 9. Saturn passes at 2.4 degrees north of the Moon at 2.13 UTC. The Moon is at a magnitude of minus 12.5, and Saturn at a magnitude of 0.2. At this time the Moon phase is 87.2%. The conjunction of Mars and Neptune on June 12. Neptune passes at 1.4 degrees north of Mars at 12.19 UTC. Mars is at a magnitude of minus 0.2, and Neptune at a magnitude of 7.9. At this time the Moon phase is 57.4%. The conjunction of the Moon and Mars on June 13. Mars passes at 2.4 degrees north of the Moon at 23.56 UTC. The Moon is at a magnitude of minus 118, and Mars at a magnitude of minus 0.2. At this time the moon phase is 43.2%. Fifth. Summer solstice. June solstice occurs at 2143 UTC on June 20. The north pole of the Earth will be tilted toward the sun, which will have reached its northernmost position in the sky, and will be directly over the Tropic of Cancer, at 23.44 degrees north latitude. This is also the first summer day, summer solstice, in the northern hemisphere, and the first winter day, winter solstice, in the southern hemisphere. If you are in the Northern Hemisphere, take advantage of the longest golden hour and blue hour of the year. 6. Annular Solar Eclipse. An annular solar eclipse occurs when the Moon is too far away from the Earth to completely cover the Sun. This results in a ring of light around the darkened Moon. 
The Sun's corona is not visible during an annular eclipse. It is characterized as ring of fire. That's what solar eclipses are famous for. The Moon passes in front of the Sun, creating an annular solar eclipse from 409 to 641 UTC. The maximum annular eclipse occurs at 519 UTC on June 21. The path of the eclipse will begin in Central Africa and travel through Saudi Arabia, northern India, and southern China, before ending in the Pacific Ocean. A partial eclipse will be visible throughout most of Eastern Africa, to the Middle East, and Southern Asia. And at the last, take advantage of the new moon week, June 21, to capture the galactic center of the Milky Way shining in the sky. Thus far, 2020 has been filled with notable astronomical events, and there's plenty still to come. Don't forget to watch these astronomical events in June 2020. Hey! If you liked the video then for more fascinating content about space and tech world. Do subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon. So that you'll never miss an update. Thanks for watching Infinity.